Welcome to Great News Weekly. Courtney from, she owner and founder of The Wandering Wildflower. I'm so excited to have you today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, I'm excited. Yeah, so uh, for those that don't know, The Wandering Wildflower is um, a bit of a unique business that you started yourself. For those that don't know, fill us in. What is The Wandering Wildflower and what do you do? Um, so I started this business three years ago, so I believe I just turned 21 and I turned an old ice cream trailer into a mobile flower truck. And the start of the business and the main goal was just to go around to local farmers markets and sell flowers. We see you out a ton, you're fantastic online. We see all of your really fun lives. Fill us in on the history of the Wandering Wildflower. Um, so it goes back actually all the way to my grandparents. So they lived in Wisconsin and they had a dairy farm. And then, then when they moved here, my grandma started the greenhouses. So okay. when I was little, I was kind of always around it. Um, I used to go to farmer's markets with her. Um, she had her own cut flowers that um, she had in the field. So I was around that. And then she passed away when I was 15 and they, um, my grandpa decided not to do um, the flowers anymore. So they shut it down. And then I went to Nashville with some friends the fall after I graduated and I saw Amelia's flower truck. And I was like, yes, this is it. This is what I want to do. I want to start this. So I came home and I told my parents, I was like, we're going to do this. I said, this is going to be what I want to do. And I, a year later, I quit, quit, quit my job. And um, we found the ice cream truck on Craigslist, I believe. And the rest is kind of history. How can people see your product purchase, what your flowers, um, and what kind of things do you offer for purchase? So first of all, mainly, like you said, farmer's markets, but we also do a flower you pick field. So that's here in Crete, Illinois, but we're right on the border. So if you do live in Indiana, it's not too far of a drive. Um, we always do it Saturdays. Um, the hours are like 8.30 to 2. And then we also are opening it during the week this year. And we're doing a Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to offer um, morning and nighttime um, you picks. The WW is hosting an event May 1. Um, it's called Pamper Your Pets. So we're How doing fun. an event for the pets. Um, obviously, I still have flowers, but I'm donating 10% um, of our profits to the shelters that day. And we're having the Humane Society of Hobart come out and um, Border Tales Rescue. I believe I saw online that involves puppy yoga. Yes, yeah, so we're having puppy yoga. So um, you can sign up and it's $30. And then um, we're also having a beer tent too. So a beer and wine tent. And then we have about, I think it's 10 to 15 vendors with pet, different pet supplies, pet products. Um, uh, we're gonna be having hot dogs and burgers. So it's gonna be a fun like, day. I'm excited about it. The Facebook is it's the Wandering Wildflower. And then the Instagram handle is the Wandering Wildflower 97. Okay, perfect. Yep. Well, thank you so much for all you're doing. Keep connected with us. And again, I'm excited to watch. May 1st it is. Uh, take care, Courtney, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me.